Okay. That's that's why I'm always well. I'm gonna take that back. I am never surprised. I was gonna double negative. I'm never surprised to see when a Smash player is really good at music. Definitely. Anyway, this was very excellent filler rod. Congratulations. Definitely. We made it to the match. We can do so other things. <laughs> you guys didn't know that, man. Us Smash players, we can do other stuff. All right, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and move right into this. Like you said, uh, Dakpo switched over into the ZSS. Let's we'll see how well Karna deals with this. Final Destination is our pick. So let's take a look here and see how this plays out. We've seen this Sheik vs. Zero Suit Sam as a matchup on uh, on the top level stage for a while. We've seen like Nairo vs. Mr. R, Nairo vs. Void. Yeah. And typically it's Nairo's the one who comes out on top of a lot of those matchups. Oh, gets the Zare. Okay, forward air right into the bouncing fish, and he's just scouting out that pull off stage. Woo! Zare seems to be his thing. Gets the neutral special right into the dash attack. No surprise that he plays DSS and Luigi, two characters that are really good at microspacing the opponents out and coming in for big damage. Like one hit turns into 12. Yeah, for sure. And right now, Karno looking to just turn some hits into stage control. But you don't want to trade with that zero suit back air, especially when you're as light as Sheik is. Yeah. Okay. I, I like that setup there with the flick jump. Really just putting him in a spot here where if Karno blinks, he meets the bottom of Final Destination. Mm -hmm. uh oh, goes a little low right there. Oh, tries to go for the forward smash. Eats a down smash for his trouble. Beautiful attempt, just not on the money, man. Karna right now playing out of his mind here. Okay, Zares him back into a corner, and Dakwo can just not pinpoint where he's going to land on stage. I got the stage control again. Oh, these dash attacks not paying off. Maybe, maybe I missed input there for Dakko. But he will so. turn around, get the back air from across all the way downtown again. Uh, that back air that ZSS <laughs> and Samus both possess hits like a ton of bricks, dude. Karna just wanted his rage gun, so that that fourth throw bounce. Like, that might just be like a space character thing. Like they just have really, really good back air. You know, Star Fox, Captain Falcon, Metroid. Like you name it. Like the back airs are just crazy. Whoa. Nice combo coming out here from Karna Dragon. Zero Suit across Final Destination again. 2% differential, you know, despite that good conversion, you're keeping this one very, very close here. Okay, Dak will kind of face the wrong way to uh, find any connection for those jabs. And, oh, good walk in and out from Karna. Loving the positioning here. Yeah, Karna's spacing pretty well right now. But he gets caught in the corner again. These up smashes from Dakpo not working out to his Shirin, but okay, gonna get the flip jump. Use that to make sure he does not fall victim to the blast zone. Yeah, please don't. Dakpo really struggling to get back on stage. You know, he was playing very well at the beginning of the match, but things are definitely turned around. Yeah, but this is zero suit with rage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Spe right. Speaking of the turnaround character. You are correct, and you, oh, you almost spoken into existence there. Yeah, Dakpo didn't pull the trigger. I think he was waiting for an air dodge for some other kind of option. Karna needs to still play on point, even though he's very close. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a forward smash. Interesting. Just runs right up, gets the up smash, and I don't think I've ever seen that move kill. That was almost the first time. Oh, the, maybe the nerve's showing him here a little bit from these two. Yeah, both characters showing that they got the dance moves. Missing some killer blows. Karna going to reset with these needles. Tons of spaghetti here. Not a lot of sauce, though. What the oh! heck? That was a read. What the heck? Nicely played, coming out from Dakpo. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there was a couple of opportunities there, I think, from both players where the punches were missed. Mm -hmm. But a lot of two four smash attempts. And up Dakpo going to dig deep, deep there, mm -hmm. finish it off. Yeah. In a down smash attempt, that was. Uh, mm -hmm. That did not connect. Well, either. Up tilts probably would have killed also from, from Dakpo. Yeah, so. yeah, for sure. Nonetheless, though, that's what the next game is for. Let's see if we can. Uh, a little bit of adaptation here. I wonder if on Zero is going to do the, uh, the the platonic friend uh, always play on the same stage kind of set. Sometimes we see that happening when people play each other a lot. Uh, to be this late into the bracket, I'm not friends with anybody, man. I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to win. <laughs> That's true. Uh, there's one of these players that will probably get a stake of that ten thousand dollars. One of them won't. I don't care how well I know you, man. Yeah. I will fight you to the death. There you go. Okay. Watch me whip. Good stuff. This is the second up air, but does find connect on the da or excuse me, not the down to the dash attack. Another grab attempt, but can't quite get the kill off the top. Getting close, mm. not quite enough. Now kind of looking to box here with these neutral airs. 
But that intangible up tilt coming out. Woo! Staying alive. Yeah. Karna backing back going to a corner. He is just really struggling to get back onto the stage, but his utilization of Zare is so good. Oh, and the nice combo coming out. Neutral to back air and ooh, trying to use a little bit of the Nairo textbook. Oh, again, another forward smash. Misplaced. Go. Oh, but he misses. How did that up air miss? It should have been stuck. But, okay, Karna again. We're, fun. we're seeing a lot of his killing blows. Just not quite finding the mark by minutes of spacing, but okay. Bouncing Fish can seal the deal. And I want to just talk about like how well these players know each other. It really shows how like well they know each other, how much they play, by how well they play each other off stage. Like they know exactly what each other are going for. And Prime that example right there. Really messed up with Dako's timing, and he's gonna throw out that side B instead of uh, any kind of recovery option, and that's gonna cost him. It's gonna be an even game. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, I mean. If you had told me this set was going to happen, this would be the one that I would bet like $100 and go to game five no. out of any other sets we've commentated so far. This so would definitely be it. Not surprised to see it go blow for blow right now, mm -hmm. even though there's a little bit of spaghetti, like you said. Just a little bit. Right. Karna taking game two. We are going to Dreamland. Pretty standard counter for Zeus and Samus. I think what so. What I said about the, the platonic final destination, not really going to happen. Oh my god, In about nine seconds there, got 40 damage on the board. Oh my god, but then Dakpo answering back. Trying to chop away at that small lead. Good stuff, man. Oh, and then again, man, Dakpo, I just want to touch on like how well he's good at finding openings for Zare and his tether grab. As you know, like that is gonna make all the difference playing a character like ZSS. Dude, Karno was just hanging out in the hole, man. He's <laughs> like, I don't got anywhere to be. This is good. Because I'm not jumping out quite yet, dude. Alright, trying to pick something up there on that platform. Again, looking for a big punish. Okay, dash attack. Keeping Dakpo at bay, and I'm really loving what I'm seeing here. Short hop near, reverse back air. Ooh. Those flip kicks. Not finding the mark yet, but I do appreciate the persistence from Dakpo. You always have to present that threat. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, try to go for the empty hop into a uh, grab up throw, possibly a up air, but the spot dodge up to. Coming out from Dapple, that was beautiful. Also beautiful, answering right back, blow for blow. I've said that a lot today, but it's pretty true. Yeah, that was, oh God, that was beautiful stuff. Good footwork right up underneath that platform there. And like I talked about, kind of with the Lilac match, um, you know, you have to watch where you are on these platforms. Sometimes, you know, you kind of autopilot and you think, I'm on these platforms, I'm doing good, I'm safe. Yeah. He can't get me up here. And then he gets you up there, and you're like, oh, yeah, and then he you, really got me. Then you, you get got, man. It happens. I think we're seeing Karna react to what you were saying. Really taking his time, not getting caught in any kind of platform, especially because Zero Suit Samus catching you on a platform with something like those up airs. Uh-oh. Got to watch your shoes, man. Try to down smash him that time again. You know, he's not quite on the money for like the down smash attempts or like the neutral specials, but I will say that when it comes to finding grabs, he's doing very, very well. But even with that being said, Karna has this very dominating lead here. Not looking to let go of it at all. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Get over here. Karna can just barely avoid that up there, which might have led to his demise. Nairo grabbed Mr. R on this stage at 20% with rage and killed him. So watch out, dude. And Karna certainly being careful. You see him jump, double jumping very far away from that tether grab. Yep, as long as you don't get hit by that here, Karna should be in good shape. But, you know, we've seen it happen before. Yes. And I like his utilization of grenade. It keeps, uh, keeps Dakpo recovering low. And that way, when he recovers low, he has to snap ledge. And then it puts him into a weird position where he has to watch how he rolls. Uh -huh. You know, does neutral get up where obviously, you know, has to go for high recovery. The neutral air, sweet spot it, but not enough. Mm -hmm. Regrab, no kind of punish coming out. Oh, that sounds scary. Yeah, you can't quite find the mark with that. Uh oh. Dash attack for dash attack. Karnas finds the X marks the spot. I love the coverage with the neutral air. Okay, gets a little ghost damage too. That was crazy. And these grenades are just making it so Dako can't immediately jump onto the stage. He has to go to ledge with the presence of this grenade. Every time. And the needles again. Oof. Shield not quite there. Yeah, do not roll into those down smashes. 
That goes down, smash my grip. Death actually there oh too! Oh my god. Not quite enough. Rage DSS not quite able to get the stock on with 188% on the board, but an up air or now one of those ladder stale. combos. Yeah, a little step, but one of those ladder combos off the top or a spike will definitely do it. Dakpo, phenomenal finish. He's gone for those flip jump kick spikes before he finally finds the one that meets its mark. Yes. In a very pivotal moment to Dakpo had to dig really deep. He was getting knocked to the left, knocked to the right, mm -hmm. all over the place. That can really rattle you if you don't get a chance to actually establish yourself in neutral. But all he needed was that one opportunity. Oh, and Karnak going cloud. Um, I actually, he does have a really solid I've cloud. cloud yeah, I've seen it at uh, King of the Springs, too. And he went there, and I think he went to something else that we were both at shortly after. I'm like, you know, he had a solid cloud. It's pretty good. Uh, SmashCon. SmashCon, is what I think, is what he went to. Did he play Cloud at all in doubles yesterday? I was not able to catch it. Um, I do. Mm, oh, I think he did. Yeah, he played. He played Cloud in doubles. That makes sense. Anyway, here we go. Um, cloud with limit does interact kind of really weirdly with the boost kick. Mm -hmm. So, if he can get that limit online and just hold it, it can really help him in getting out of some of these zero suit Samus setups. Interesting. No punish there on the missed tether grab. Um, but I'm actually surprised that that wasn't enough to connect. Like they seem to be right there. Oh, but. Dakpo again taking control of this game. Well, actually, really for the first time, I feel like Karno was in control a lot of that game three. Side special, yeah. Oh, and then again another flip kick. Good stuff. Dakpo looking really good right now. Dakpo saying, This is my time. You may be number one or number two in Dallas. Actually, I think Lima's number one in Dallas, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, Lima. But Karno always very highly ranked. Dakpo, like you said, multi game specialist, but here is his time. He got his PGR win on MPD earlier today, and he's looking to answer by making it to Sunday, making it to Payton. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's going for the Nair, and sure have Nair, a move that gives DSS uh, access to quite a bit. I know it's been nerfed, um, you know, since DSS uh, um, has been in, obviously, in Smash 4, but uh -huh. uh, the nerf isn't too much. You know, we see guys like, you know, Dakpo Ooh. and uh, Nairo, doesn't seem to affect them too much. Dakpo really, he was just hanging out on that ledge, right? He had nowhere to go. He was just stuck there. Cloud was just omnipresent. And so just throwing that blade beam out while Dakpo was tethering. Great catch coming out from Karna. Yeah, and beautiful. after he died a little early, he's still in this game. Yeah. Still hanging around. Woo. Okay, gets the one, two, three jab slightly off the mark and starting to close this gap out. Karna bringing things back. Wants to force that game five. Even Stevens in game four here. Yeah. The bracket lights on the line. It definitely is. You gotta watch how you whiff some of these grabs versus a character like Cloud, man, especially in the hands of somebody as talented as Karna. Cloud has very big hitboxes on his attacks, and they do a ton of damage. Little old ZSS can't take too many more of these swords. It's blows. amazing watching Karna cover these ledge getups from back though. Oh, he missed the Oh, he had that cross up, he just fired it in the wrong uh -oh. direction. And it could cost him dearly here, but no, forward tilts. Even that yet. I thought it would be enough. Okay. Utilization of jab there. Really good option. Throws out the down smash. I don't think that was ever intended to connect. It's kind of a bait to get him out of the corner. Speaking of get off the attack. And that's enough from all the way. You can fire that under town and city. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, ZSS. Pretty light gal. You know, trained by the, the Chozo, but uh, I don't think she was trained to fight Cloud, man. Not many people are trained to fight Cloud, let's yeah, be real. Yeah, true. That guy's... He's, he's something else. That's pretty good. So Dakpo, he could go Luigi, because it, it'll be Karana character locked, right? Yes. He will be character locked going to game five. Is he character locked, or does he have to switch first? Is that what it is? Well, he has to switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has to so, switch. Okay, if he's going to switch, he's going to switch first. Okay. The sheet coming out here for Karna, and Dakpo, I believe, is going to stay. You know, I used to think that the Luigi Sheik matchup was kind of undoable for Luigi until I watched uh, a lot of those um, Mega Smash Mondays and Wednesday night fights where I would see K9 and, um, and Elegant. Elegant, you know, face off against each other. That was like back when it was like K9, Elegant, and like JK always battling for like top three. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, yeah, man, there's just no way that uh, Luigi can deal with Sheik. And I was like, wait a second. But if Luigi grabs Sheik, she's in for a world of hurry. This is very doable. Well, to be fair, Playing against Elegant's Luigi is different than playing against any Luigi that exists in the world. Yeah, I'm convinced that like Elegant's Luigi is not even the same character on the character select screen. It's something else. He unlocks serious potential in the character. Dakpo's Luigi, of course, nothing to sneeze at itself. Yeah. 
Very but we're going to see the zero six Stamus again sticking around. And with Karna going back to his uh, his primary character, Sheik, I'm not surprised. Back to Final Destination we go. Both these players have traded wins on this stage. Oh, yeah. But Karna's last win was on, I believe, oh, come Town and City, right? Mm -hmm. So so this is not locked in by a modified DSR. Good old DSR, man. It's something. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something else, that's for sure. Karna coming out swinging right now is something in and of itself. Mm -hmm. Again, put that grenade into the great spot. Yeah, and I did do a little damage. Um, and even, though I, even though it didn't get any knockback, um, there was some quick damage kind of put on there. Okay, Nair. Ooh, nice stuff. Counter. Yeah, forward tilt right into the Nair again. Catches the landing back, and Karna, this man is reborn right now. Not exactly what it was about that win, but he definitely is uh, very comfortable right now in this matchup. And he's going to get the bouncing fish here. That will clean up. You see Dr. sitting a little back in his chair, maybe. Off balance a bit. Karna answering back big time. Yeah. Quick pivot grab. Oh, don't touch me though. <laughs> tell, like, tell me that was intentional. Yeah, I just, I don't I think he meant to pivot needles, but the way that worked out ended up being actually perfect for Karna. Yeah, definitely. Down smash is a move that you have to respect, so a lot of times we'll see guys go up against these talented ZSS main and they just let them toss it out. That's just not a move that you want to whiff versus. Alright, that one I can guarantee was not intentional. No, not that time. Poor grenades, but Karna going for the lap, and he gets the bouncing fish, cleaning up the two stock. You blink and you missed it, and Karna's in top eight. Wow. Texas, stand up. Both of your boys doing damage here, but it is Karna that moves on.